All right, guys, I'm here with a bit of information for Dragon Ball Legends. So the official Dragon Ball Legends Twitter accounts have finally announced the next Zenkai unit we'll be getting in the game. And this is actually a pretty big one. It is none other than the purple Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta from the first anniversary. Like, this is actually kind of nice. And I'll break that down after we get past the details. So the tweet says, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta Zenkai Awakening is coming. After Awakening, Vegeta's main ability and successful counters restore key, plus unlock all unique abilities to grant him a damage buff against Tag, Lineage of Evil, and a healing effect. Okay, so before we actually break down what the tweet is uh, saying, just note that when this Vegeta released, he was incredible. I mean, his kit was amazing, and personally speaking, like, I used this Vegeta way more then I used the Super Saiyan Blue Goku that came out, which ironically, he's also a Zenkai now. But just knowing that this unit is getting a Zenkai is going to be, well, okay, correction. As of late, Zenkai units have been pretty mid, right? And some are just like outright bad, right? They messed up Rose. They did Goku pretty well. So I'm hoping that with this unit, they do not mess this up. Because again, his kit is good. This Vegeta's kit has always been good. It's just power creep got him. So I'm hoping that this time around, they do this Zenkai justice because we need a decent Zenkai, I'll say. And not only that, I mean, just based off his base kit, right? I mean, hey, uh, he was able to get an ultimate attack. Not only that, when you um, pop your main, you completely negate health restoration for 15 timer counts, right? He nullifies endurance. He traps you in twice for five timer counts. Like this unit was great. So. Him getting a Zenkai is going to be absolutely amazing if they do it right. But um, with that being said, let's actually break everything down. So first things first, uh, Vegeta's main ability and successful uh, counters restore key, which is good, right? Uh, obviously, the more key that you have, the longer you can extend your combo uh, on top of being able to draw cards. And plus, unlock his unique abilities to grant him a damage buff against LOE and a healing effect, which obviously healing effect is always going to be good. But um, especially against LOE, right? Now, the thing with LOE is it originally was LF Full Power Frieza, Zenkai Full Power Frieza, and Revival Frieza, which is a good combination. Until LF 17 and 18 release, then I've noticed that people really don't bring in Zenkai Full Power Frieza anymore. Because again, initially you have that coverage until a prominent red unit came along and that nullifies endurance just by breathing. So that completely shut that Frieza down. But it doesn't shut down Revival Frieza because even though you can swap to 18 and have element factor advantage, that Frieza still has revival, right? And it was kind of easy for them to just take out, you know, Zenkai full power Frieza and just swap him out with golden Frieza. So that's why LOE is still very powerful to this day. Like a lot of people still use that tag. But with this, right, the one thing I'm truly interested in seeing is how prominent of damage buffs is he going to get against LOE and if he can completely shut down Golden Frieza. It's going to force LOE players that have Golden Frieza and if they decide to throw him in battle to play very defensively with that unit. Because note, Golden Frieza is strong and can definitely hold his own against purple units, especially with this special move. But if this Vegeta is able to trap that Frieza in, especially in the midst of a combo, it could be a wrap, right? Especially if he lands that ultimate attack or of course, if you throw out Rising Rush or whatever the case may be. But again, like I said, freeze up if he lands his uh, special move, he becomes element neutral and does really good damage against pur uh, purple units, even while being neutral. So I think that's gonna be like the main spot where uh, this Vegeta shines in terms of being implemented in battle. The other thing is that, and this is worst case scenario, if they do, <laughs> if they do this Vegeta wrong, which I'm really hoping they don't, but if they do this Vegeta wrong and he ends up sucking, then at the very least, God Key now has another, what, uh, purple bench unit, you know? And also, I still find it very ironic that the two tanks that are still getting buffs to this day, especially with the anniversary being a very, very soon, are Saga the Movies and God Key. It is too obvious what the anniversary is going to be. So I would say, that at the end of the day, I mean, I think that this Zenkai is worth it, period, right? Because again, he was a unit that when he released was fairly prominent. He held his own for a long while. His kit was really good. It's just power creep got him. That's the only downside. But now that he's going to be back in the game, this, this unit should, in theory, be phenomenal. 
but again I really am interested to see how things are going to turn out for both this unit releasing and the anniversary because at the end of the day like I said earlier if this unit is not good then at the very least he's a purple bench unit for god key come the anniversary and uh honestly too with Saga Smith movies too because what we got uh Sandman 1 and 2 Zenkai yeah yeah an anniversary is definitely god key in movies like part one god key absolutely part two movies unless they decide to actually do you know god key and movies just at the very beginning of the anniversary which would be kind of crazy but i digress all in all though i think that this is actually really really good but i do want to know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on this vegeta getting a zenkai awakening because note that i believe from the first anniversary three of the five headliners now have zenkais which is super vegeto super saiyan blue goku the blue unit and now this vegeta so what were the other units i believe it was uh the original like the first green golden freezer that we got and buhan i'm pretty sure those were the other um anniversary units because i'm pretty sure there was one main headliner which was vegeto but yeah out of all the uh, first year anniversary units three of them now have zenkai so i do want to know you guys thoughts on all that too in the comment section below with that being said i'm Kuba. like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video